A Twin Cities suburb is the latest Minnesota city to limit the sale of flavored tobacco products. Shoreview joins Minneapolis and St. Paul in banning sales to specialty tobacco shops. It's all part of an effort to curb the growing use of flavored tobacco among teenagers and even younger kids. As WCCO's Esme Murphy reports, while fewer than 10% of children now use tobacco, most who do choose flavored products. It smells like strawberry. Ugh, are these mints? An ad by the anti-smoking group Clearway highlights the lure of the brightly packaged, sweet-smelling products. With colorful packaging and fruit and candy flavors that kids love, who do you think tobacco companies are targeting? A CDC study says that the percentage of teens that smoke has dropped from 16% in 2011 to 9% in 2015. But of those that do smoke, 75% use flavored tobacco. And that's why Shoreview banned flavored products from every store in the city except this one. This is a vanilla flavored cigar. And again, uh, our average age in here is about 43 to 45 years old. For 27 years, David Beers has sold flavored and other tobacco products to cigar and pipe smokers. No one under 18 is allowed in. We're an adult only facility. And we do enforce that. While he favors the crackdown, he feels businesses like his are getting a bad name. They have time to pick on pipe smokers for crying out loud. But a leading substance abuse expert says the crackdowns are needed. It's not just high school kids, you know, middle schoolers, kids in, in uh, late middle school age are at risk as well. Carol Falkowski says kids who smoke are much more likely to end up eventually using illegal drugs. She says parents really should consider early tobacco use as a warning sign of possible future drug abuse. So we know that e-cigarettes or vaping as may also use those candy flavors. So do you know any plans for cities to crack down on those? You know, not yet, Liz. Uh, right, right now, there's really a lot of research underway into vaping, but public health experts are extremely concerned about the use of those kinds of flavors in those e-cigarettes. All right, Esme, thank you.